in uh, Tatek, in Lao. We, I was traveling with two Finnish girls and we took a bus to Tatek, a sleeping bus, which should take about uh, eight hours. And when we arrived in, at a bus stop at about 2 a.m. in the morning, uh, we went outside uh, to, just to stretch our legs. And yeah, we found out that this city was already Tatek. And the bus took about five hours. So yeah, we just went out. The bus driver was just giving us our luggage. And uh, then we started to have a look in the Lonely Planet um, where to go. And there was a Dutch girl and a Belgium girl with us. And so we just decided to go to one guest house near the bus station. So we took a tuk tuk there woke up the guy at the reception and then he told us that there were like two or three beds left in a dorm. So in the end these two girls decided to stay there and we decided to have a look around to find some other guest houses to stay. And uh, we, we asked the guy at the reception if it was possible to, to just sleep in the garden and we would pay for the room and just get our sleeping bags out, but he was like the whole time, no, no, it's not possible, you can't do that. So, yeah, we just went outside again and um, and went to the first guest house past there, but it was all full. <laughs> and basically we just walked up and down this road and asked at every hotel and guest house, but they were like all booked. So, we just went back and you know, it was like 2, two or 2.30 am so we found like a little kind of a tree house and we ended up just putting our sleeping bags there and just slept basically on the road and the road was like really empty and nobody was there and suddenly there were like a lot of dogs coming out like a pack of 10 dogs walking past us and staring at us, started to bark and groan and they were like really creepy and all the dogs came the whole night, stopped and were watching us and it somehow reminded me of a, of a horror movie, like 30 days of night with all the vampires but there were dogs and yeah but it was, it was funny in the end because we, yeah, we just slept there and in the morning we went to the guest house and like had a shower there and and just went off to to the Konglo caves and we were like no we're not going back to Pakek. It was a great experience. And this guy really felt sorry afterwards. When he found out that we basically slept on the road, he was like, Oh no, what? You slept on the road, were you okay? And we were like, Yeah, it worked. <laughs> so we were okay. Yeah. That was Pakek. <laughs> I didn't like the stuff at all. Yes.